Hey, welcome to the Mama of Three Boys. I've got some stuff I need to show you. Show you today. Um, it's a couple. It's two pot holders and then a swatch I made of figure eight. Um, my mother-in-law made one of these. Um, it's got rib stitching ribs on it. It's really neat. I actually have two pot holders, but I can only find the one. Here's the one that she made. It's a teal, but it looks blue on the screen. Can you see these ribs? I like those. I like this. I like the stuff that's homemade. Because uh, people put the time and effort into making it because they, they thought of you. So they're like, hey, I want to make something for her or him. I'm super excited that she made these for me. Um, there is a little thing right here to where you can hang it up. Uh, we usually put ours in a drawer. Um, yeah, that's fine. And this is something, I guess you could say, aunt or great aunt made us. Well, made my grandmother and then it got handed down to me. I actually have two of these, but I can only find one. Uh, the other one says sugar, but this is, this is thick. She used, she made the front, and then she cross-stitched the words, and then she made the back, and then she made this little design. Bill Ruffles right here. I don't use this as a pot holder because it's so old and the letters are starting to come off. So this is just my decorative one. I hang up. I, I really like it. You don't, you don't see this kind of stuff anymore. And I really wish people who crochet would make some flour, sugar, allspice, cinnamon, you know, vanilla, like this. Because this is freaking amazing. I got one more time. I'll show you one more time. I'll show you the other pot holder one more time and then I'll get to my little swatch. The other one is yellow of this and it's bigger. Okay. I have said I'm going to try to learn a new stitch once a year. So I have a year to learn that stitch and get it down really well. Well, <clears throat> last year was the figure eight stitch. It, it, it's been a while since I've made this. Um, I've dropped, I dropped a stitch, but this is what it looks like. This is the figure eight stitch. On the S loom down here, I'm making the blanket on. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's the weather. It was hot yesterday. Now it's like cold today. Um, so I just tried doing it on my little loom right here, and I have. I guess I have to go back to watch the video. Um, on how to do this since it's been so long. So, I have just, I got some new hooks yesterday, uh, crochet hooks, and I tried crocheting, um, <clears throat> that's going to take me a very long time to do, to learn how to do it, <clears throat> but I also cross-stitch, I cross-stitch mainly in a the spring and the summers because it's not so because it's not cold it's hot so i don't have to have anything on top of my lap i knit or loom uh in the fall and winter i make blankets i make scarves i make hats um so those keep me warm i'm like why don't you do it all year round um because all the the yarns 
um, made in a blanket. I overheat as it is. I I just I produce heat. Uh, I'll be fine, and then my face just all of a sudden get all red, and you can feel the heat radiating off of me. That's why I do certain things at certain times of the year, because I don't want to feel that hot all the time. I really don't. It's not fun. Um. So we're down here in Texas, and today is 68 degrees. Yesterday, I think, it was 80 degrees. So it's a 20-some degree drop. And today is Friday. <clears throat> today is my, our youngest son's, <clears throat> sorry, second birthday. Um, so, yeah, that is exciting. Um, I ordered two yarn boxes. So hopefully they get here within the next couple days. Um, I don't think, since I go to the surgery next week, I don't think, I don't know if I'm going to do any, um, YouTube. I might do something on Facebook, because I'll be back there in bed, and the laptop will be out here, so I'll have my phone with me. Um, or I could do something from the hospital. The doctor will more than likely keep me a day, or overnight, because me. I'll have to, I have to be in there at 6 a.m. Because uh, where I'm going, the hospital don't have no pre-op. So you have to be in there three hours early. So I guess my surgery will be between 9 and 10. So I have to be in there at 6. Um, yeah. Lovely. Really, really great. Uh, but that's fine. Um, that's what time my kids get up to get ready for school. So we just, they'll just be getting up maybe 45 minutes earlier. At 5 o'clock something. Because I have to be up there at 6. And we've got 3 to get ready. And then me and my husband to get ready. Um, I'm one of these people, if I need something done and it can be fixed, do it. Just get it done. Um. I don't sit there and think about it <clears throat> for three months. Now, if I need something done, I tell them, if you got the memes, or you got the stuff to do it with, just, just get it done. Um, in the long run, I've noticed that it saved me a lot of time, pain, and running back and forth to the doctor. So. I am a big fan. If something needs done, get it done. Mm -hmm. Get it done. Um, but yeah, that is all I had to show you. And hopefully I can get this blanket done sometime this week. Next week, hopefully. Since I'll be laid up in bed. Sorry, Diet Coke. Um, <clears throat> so, that is all I had to show you. I actually have more stuff, but I want to save it for another broadcast. Because I have to get, I need to go in and get some more yarn so I can actually do, so I can actually show you what I do with it. Um. The next one I will be showing you is called Zippy. Yeah, I've made some stuff. I made a lot uh, the Christmas presents that everyone got this year. I handmade. I'd rather go spend the money on some yarn than go spend money on something expensive that they won't they won't use. Um, if I go spend like five bucks on two things of yarn. And they don't use it. I'm like, hell. Got that yarn on sale. Really don't care if you use it or not. I made it because I thought you'd like it. So. That's all I have for today. And from the mother of three boys. I hope you have an awesome weekend. And stay warm. Cool. Dry. Say so I love you to everyone you see. 
especially your family, and have a great Friday. Bye.